Great outfit, man. <laughs> I, I got to start there. On a serious note, let's get back to the note. Um, you're seeing a lot of, of upside for tech in Q4. You actually believe that tech can move another 10% in Q4. What's the catalyst? I mean, look, this is our second trip in Asia in the last six weeks. Demands outstripping supply 15 to 1. So even though right now it starts with Godfather of AI, Jensen, NVIDIA, this second, third, fourth derivative, it's just starting to play out in terms of AI. I think that is going to be the catalyst to tech stocks being up 10% plus this year, 20% next year. I think the AI party, still 9 p.m. with the party that doesn't <laughs> end till 4 a.m. Why does the party end at 4 a.m.? I, I mean, I don't even, I, this metaphor always cracks me up every time you do it. Uh, but on a serious note, you're saying demand is up. That's what's going to push the tech sector 10% more in Q4. Demand exactly for what? For chatbots, um, for chips? I mean, what is the real catalyst here? I mean, I, if I look from a chip demand, 15 to 1 demand to supply. So if you see how it's all playing out, enterprises are lining up in terms of the AI revolution. Now, now we're just going to start to see the software, the use cases. That's where Messi of AI, Palantir, front and center. You look at names like Oracle, what I believe Salesforce.com, ServiceNow. So now that tidal wave of spend, a trillion dollars of AI capex is coming to the shores of tech but in the, to me in the next two or three years. By the way, I interviewed Alex Carp a few weeks ago. We talked about you. We talked about you and some of your notes. He, he's a fan. He's a fan. Um, I want to get to some more of your note. Uh, according to your note, for every dollar spent on NVIDIA chips, there's an 8 to $10 spend in the tech sector. So I want to drill down on that. Is it in the tech sector or is it on AI capabilities? Because we just talked about uh, mm -hmm. utilities having their best uh, quarter, excuse me, since back in 2003. Isn't a lot of this spending on, on just physical infrastructure? Is that technically tech spending? Sure. I think 8 to 10 is going to be from software, infrastructure. You talk about the energy piece. It speaks to our view that it's not just about NVIDIA. It's not just about Microsoft. It's now about the multiplier. So what you're going to see really across software, I think the big catalyst going to tech over the next 12, 18 months, numbers are going to go up, I think, 15, 20% across the tech sector. And I think that's why a lot of the bears that are continue being those caves in hibernation modes, they come out talking about valuation. I think streets underestimating growth. That's why, in my opinion, this tech bull market Still in the second inning. I got to be fair, though, Dan. You are one of the biggest bulls when it comes to tech overall. So you're always optimistic, in all fairness. But let's just talk about scale. Me and you have talked for many years. There have been times where maybe there was some caution, mm -hmm. where you could see some risk. But right now, in terms of just fundamentally what we see, we see it across the board, not just in Asia, but around the world. Enterprises are lining up, and I think that's why it's about the next phases now of tech playing out in terms of this yeah. AI revolution. All right, I want to talk about two different uh, ETFs, the IGV, the software ETF, also the CIBR, cybersecurity. Those are two ETFs. A lot of investors I talk to, they say to look at those. Um, are we going to see these gains you're talking about for the tech sector in these two areas? Oh, I think that's really front and center because when you talk about use cases, it's about software, not just on names like Palantir and others, ServiceNow, Salesforce. I think the rest of tech, we'll give you look at names like Adobe and others. And then you think about how you're going to protect that. Cybersecurity, that's where names like Zscaler, CrowdStrike, 1995 moment in tech, almost 1996, but it's not a 1999 bubble moment. So IGV, CIBR, both up about 10% year to date. Where do they finish the year? If you think tech rises another 10%, what about these two specific areas? 15 to 20%. I think these are, these are specifically areas where I think you have just a huge parabolic run into year-end given numbers. So those two rise another 5%, but the tech sector 10%. Oh, yeah, I think because I think we're, you're really going to see MAG7. Okay. Big tech's going to continue leading this left lane going 90 miles an hour.